there, my name is Caitlin and I'm a teaching artist at the Van Wesel Performing Arts Hall. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make a duck mask. First things first, you're going to take your paper plate and you're going to cut it in half to create a half moon like this. And then you're going to hold it up to your face with the dome side facing your face and you're gonna see about where to put the eye holes. So I'm gonna mark them with my thumbs, about right there, I would say. And the easiest way to do this is to just mark where your thumbs were with a pencil, and then you're going to draw the shape that you want your eyes to be, and you can make them whatever shape you want, big, small, just as long as you can see out of them. You're going to then cut those out, and it's a little bit tricky, to get your scissors in there. So I would suggest taking a pencil and poking a hole through each of the eye holes. And then you have a spot to slip your scissors into and then you can cut it out. I've got mine cut out here so that I can show you what to do next. So we've got our eye holes cut out like that. Then this will be the time that you will want to adhere the stick for holding your mask up. And I would go ahead and glue that with your hot glue gun or if you have really strong adhesive tape like duct tape you can use that as well so you're going to just glue or tape it right there so that you can hold up your mask using the stick there all right so then we're going to cut out our bill for our bill I'm using uh, orange colored cardstock you can use whatever kind of paper you want to use whatever kind of color you want um, you could even use just regular printer paper and color it however you want. So I draw my bill beforehand before I cut it. And I drew it to look like this. So it's in the shape of a bill. And the way to adhere it to the mask or to fix it to your mask is to leave a little bit of a tab at the bottom. And then you're going to fold that tab under to where you want the bill to start against the mask. So I'm going to take my mask and I've got that folded part underneath there and that is where you're going to glue it against your paper plate so that it sticks out like this and it creates a 3D effect. So what I did so that the bill had even more of a 3D effect is I cut a little bit of a slit right there in the base of the bill so that when I glue it, I'm just going to just a teeny bit overlap those corners so that it creates more of a dome shape on the bill itself. And then you can glue that, keeping that little part that you cut open curved a little bit so that it creates a curvature to the bill. Okay? Now comes the really fun part. We have the basic structure of our mask complete. We've got the face and our handle to hold the mask, as well as our bill attached. So now we can be really creative and decorate however we'd like. I like to make the eyes pop a little bit more. So I drew around the eye holes with a black marker and I added eyelashes and some blue eyeshadow. If you want to make your mask really expressive, you can also add eyebrows, which I did for mine. And now you can create whatever kind of character you can imagine. So you can add certain characteristics to your mask or you can decorate it with feathers. I have some feathers right here actually that I think I will put on mine. It gives it a little bit more fun. So I am going to arrange my feathers all along the top there and hot glue those down. Remember to be very careful with your hot glue gun, especially with the feathers. So I'm going to glue some feathers to mine and then you can add different accessories to your mask or different details. I cut out a bow out of some red construction paper and I'm going to glue it on top of my feathers there. So I've got my feathers and my bow glued on and here is my finished product. Have fun adding lots of details to your masks and you can create some really fun and unique characters. You could add a top hat, for example, or maybe different colored feathers. You could even use the basic structure of our mask, the paper plate, the eye holes, and our craft stick 
and make any kind of animal. What kind of animal could you create with your paper plates? Be sure to share your designs and your creations on our Facebook page, School Time at the Van Weasel, hashtag ArtworksAnywhere. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.